this question is about differential equations a gardener is filling an ornamental pool with water using a hose that delivers 30 liters of water per minute initially the pool is empty at time t minutes after filling begins the volume of water is v the pool has small leak loses water at the rate of differential is write down okay so dv dt means the change so the change in volume with respect to time so here we have uh, delivers 30 so this is the input so positive 30 for the input and we have loses at the rate of so losing 0.01 volume that's minus 0.01 so that means the a is 30 the b is 0.01 obviously now solve the differential equation so um, we know that the differential equation is this now since we know the value of a and b so from here we know the a and b this is what we get right now to solve the differential equation the first step is to separate the variables so we got to make everything with v on one side everything with t on the other side we do that by multiplying or dividing both sides of the equation by something so here if we multiply by dt and we divide by 30 minus 0.01 v on the left we have 1 over 30 minus 0.01 VDV, everything's in V, and on the right, just DT, everything's in T. So now we're going to need to integrate both sides. So um, for the integral of 1 over something, we use LN, so we use LN, the denominator, divided by minus 0.01 for the derivative of this denominator, or just use the coefficient of the X or the V in this case right so minus 0.01 is because of this and the integral of dt or the integral of 1 dt is just t just like the integral of 1 dx is just x and don't forget the constant of integration c and this is actually the general solution of the equation of the differential equation and to find the particular solution we need to plug in the boundary condition actually it's not um, clearly written but if you read this um, sentence initially means when the time is zero empty means the volume is zero so when the time is zero the volume is zero so from here this is just zero so we have just ln 30 and this is divided by 0.01 which means times 100 so c is just minus 100 ln 30 okay so um now that we have c we can replace this c with minus 100 ln 30 now we have the particular solution and with the question again we need to find the t when the v is 1000 so now we plug in v equals 1000 and we find the value of t so just add both sides with this guy here you know move it to the left so we have plus ln 30 yeah by the way this is 10 30 minus 10 is 20 so that's why we have 20. okay so just use a calculator in 3sf we get um the t value now the next part is expression for v in terms of t and what happens to v as t becomes large so we gotta make it v equals something we can start by um, dividing both sides by minus 100 so divide by minus 100 divide by minus 100 this is what we get and we do e to the power of everything e to the power of the right hand side also because we can cancel out we have only the argument and then we can split e to the power of this times e to the power of this it's a multiplication now and then we can um, subtract so um yeah first of all we can simplify this okay so e to the power of ln cancel out we have only 30 
so we have 30 times this and then we um, subtract 30 from both sides and then we uh, multiply both sides by minus 100 so we have v in terms of t can leave it like this and question is to find t when find v when the t is infinity so when t becomes large means when the t is infinity so the trick is to use a calculator just use something big like 999999 or something for the value of t so just use your calculator here you should get 3000 okay so uh, that's it i'll see you again next time